Hi guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper 15. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Today's video is huge. It's going to be very, very long. I am warning you now. If you do not have the time, I would recommend coming back and watching it later. It is a collective haul. It is also the video that 10 of you have been waiting for. Today I'm going to announce the 10 winners of my 500 subscriber giveaway. And all 10 people will be getting a $15 e-card to Simon Says Stamp via email. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy the haul and listen for the winners. So let's get started. All right, it's long. All right, so we just got in a hauler box and this is one of the boxes I've been waiting for. It's not the big one, but this one arrived, so I thought I would share it with you guys. All right, and it literally just got here, so this was one of the things I was waiting for to do the video. Um, I got this clear, let me just put this down so I can have a little bit of room here. This clear packing tape, and I know that's simple, but we use a lot of this around the house, especially when I'm doing happy mail and things, but I got it for 50 cents on price drop, so those can usually be a little expensive. I got more of this um, deco, I guess they call it like decor tape. It's basically four inch wide washi tape and um, it's nice. It's just green with reindeers on it. I had gotten the other one that is more Christmassy that I'm giving out, but um, you can see there it's very, very nice, very thick. Okay, so there's that guy and I believe that was on price drop for 75 cents. More of these little Shopkins storage, um, I guess you collect them. I showed you guys these before and they have like a little collector's thing in them, but they're cute and maybe you could put like your fuse tips in there or your specialty sequins or you know something like that. Um, I'm not gonna open these ones up because I'm give, giving these ones away, but I showed you guys in another video and it comes with the collector's thing in each and the one that I did open up, I believe I got two erasers. Very cute though, 50 cents. Um, I got another one of those, those grab bags. This one also is $2, but this one's not insulated and that's okay because I guess I'm just going to put my non-perishables in here, like my dry goods or something. And for those of you who didn't see the other hauler video, it's a really cool thing. You probably know about these already, but these clip onto your shopping cart at the grocery. And so you literally just open it up, clip it on, and it's the width of the shopping cart. You line your shopping cart with, you know, the green, the black, the blue, the yellow for, you know, meat, dairy, dry goods, etc. And literally they just ring it up from there and put it right back in the bag and you carry it home. It's nice because you know where everything goes. So $2, I mean, I really do think you can't beat that or don't think you can beat that. And then again, there's a little thing here for coupons. Um, I like it. So $2 for that guy. And we grocery shop a lot in this house. So I like to be organized. All right, I uh, got these ones. These are facial tissues, but they're a $100 bill. Isn't that cute? Just blow our nose with money. Yep, not worth anything anyway. So, all right, next um, I got, let's see, a couple packs of these. They are, let's see, this one says garden and this one says travel. They're basically like little maybe acetate pieces. Um, they just say clear cut travel shapes, clear cut flower shapes, but you guys get the drift on what they are. They're just those like basically ephemera, but acetate. And this one, I you get 30 and 30. So I got these on price drop for 50 cents each. Thought they were a good deal. Nice for pocket letters. I got this guy on price drop, I believe for 50 cents. And this again, it's at Kickerland. And they are sticky notes. Aren't those cute? I thought those were nice. And this little guy here for <clears throat> either the little warriors. I might see if I can bring on a second child because I have the little girl who's two years old. And I was thinking of uh, requesting a child that's more, I don't know, in the age that they can 
you know, do the games and the coloring, maybe like, you know, five, six years old. So this is really cute. It's a dry erase board and it has a bunch of activities inside that they can just continuously do. So they do the game, they wipe it off. You guys get the drift. Got it for 90, <coughs> excuse me, 99 cents. Also, <clears throat> forgive me, I've been a little under the weather for a few days and that's why you haven't seen some videos uh, from me for maybe a week, so bear with me. Okay. All right, I got another one of these journals that says I am very busy and it's very basic, but it's cute. It's, you know, debossed with some uh, foiling there and they had this on price drop for 99 cents. These were normally three, then they went down to $1.50 and then price drop at 99 cents. So I grabbed that guy. For a dollar, I got this four pack of these Halloween treat boxes. Kind of cute. I figured I would use these for work. Um, you know, just to give out some goodies, but they were cute. And then I got for, I believe it was a dollar 50 on price drop, this, uh, some, some five piece stationery set and it's cute. I mean, it's basic, but it would be a nice little gift for a kid. And I love that they've got Buzz Lightyear in there. That was my son's like ride or die toy. He collected every single Buzz Lightyear. We still have them in a crate. Um, and they're going to be worth money someday. I mean, we got him every single buzz they had. And if you guys have a child that's around 17, you know, those things were not cheap. They were comparable to like cabbage patch dolls. They were very expensive. So anyways, back to this guy <laughs> It has the little ruler, the pencil, the Mickey eraser, the monster, um, ink eraser there, and then a little journal pad. And these guys are just so cute with their little chubby baby faces. That one. And then I got two packs of these. It comes with 131 stickers in different types of style. These are puffy. So you get the first page puffy and they're nice size as you see. And then the second page is all like glittery hologramish kind of. It's very cute there. And then the third page is your traditional sticker. And these remind me a lot of the, um, oh, what was it? I'm trying to think. Um, it'll come back to me. Um, I, I don't know if it was Doodlebug. Um, oh, I think it was Echo Park. The Echo Park Halloween stickers I got. So a dollar. So I got two of those. I thought those would be nice to give away for Halloween. Then I got these guys. I thought these were cool. These are, um, you get a little over 50 stickers, and these remind me of those Doodlebug stickers. Check it out. You remember the ones we got with all like the ice cream and cake? Sorry, they put it in there upside down. You know what I mean? Like it has that popsicle cake, donut, coffee cup kind of vibe going on. But these were 50 cents, and they smell like chocolate. Isn't that cool? And they're much larger than I thought. When I ordered them, I thought they were gonna be like this size but it's a huge sheet, so I thought those were kind of cool. All right, the last from Holler. Sorry guys, my table's only so big. Let me try to push this out of the way. I got more of the uh, Pepperico. So I had already shown you guys this one, Pepperico's World. And you guys know the deal, how it opens up and you pull back and then pull sideways. Don't do what I did and try to pull up, pull back. Okay, so now we've got pepperoni, uh, pepperoni loves, let's see here, sushi, it says it somewhere. Anyways, this is the sushi one. Very cute, right? Let me see if I can get you close. See, he's like a little egg roll or something. I just think it's so cute. I love it. So this is the sushi one. Then this is the Pepperico in Paris. Very cute. Sorry guys that this little thing is, let's see if I can, there you go. So he's got his little suitcase or car suitcase and she's ready to go. Her little beret. Very cute, right? And you guys know how these open and that you have the little combination. And then the last one that they have is the Pepperico goes to London. And I'm in love with these guys. And the London one, I will not be giving away because that is my dream to go and see castles all over the world. My dream is to go to Ireland, but um, you know, I know that in the UK and uh, oh, 
basically everywhere in Europe, they have a ton of castles, but the London one, I'm not giving up, but I'm definitely, I've ordered some more to get out. So anyways, guys, that is the full collection. If you guys have not gone to Holler yet, you might, if you want these, you might want to because they're selling out fast. I actually had to come back and keep stocking just to get three more of each. And then they like basically capped me off and said, that's your limit. So I have to wait to order more. Okay, bear with me. I want to get all this out of the way to put the next stuff on the table. And like I said, it's a lot today. So I hope you guys have coffee in hand by now. Let me get this out of the way. All right. First box done. Okay. Next. All right. Let's go ahead and do what I got from Joann's. From Joann's, I, I went ahead and I ordered that new Tim Holtz Ideology Tag Press. And you guys have probably seen this. Now, <clears throat> Michaels was doing a... Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Michaels was doing a sale and they were doing buy one get one half off and i thought well wow what a great deal but you weren't getting the free shipping and things like that but i still thought it was a great deal because of the price point on these and it was 19.99 so basically you buy two for 30 dollars um and again with these little additional tag rings as well it only comes with a few variety tag rings well, I hopped over to Joann's cause online because I had a coupon. Joann's was doing $11.99 for one, plus you got an additional 20% off and free shipping. So I went ahead and just ordered all of it from Joann's and I got the uh, this little Sizzix framelits with stamps. It's for planners. It comes with 13 dies and 10 stamps. There's the stamps and you can see they're nice and little for planners and there's the dies. And that was a really good price, plus I had a coupon and I got free shipping. So let me show you what these things look like. I think I already dropped one on the floor. Forgive me. Oh no, it's hiding. Okay, so here we go. I just took some of those stamp and Bella images that I've already cut and colored, and then I cut them uh, to the size of the ring. Let me show you guys here. Okay, so those are the tag presses. No, they do not have like a little bale or anything that you can, you know, put string or something, but I guess you could glue a little like ring kind of, you know, circle thing on there, like a link. Um, they are also coming out with a press that is the exact size. So you have your one and a quarter, you have your one inch and your 0.75. So they're coming out with a tag, I mean like a circle cut die for each of these. However, every single circle die set I have has these three sizes in it. So just food for thought, guys. If you already have circle dies, check them. I bet you they're the same size. But I do want to forewarn you. I messed around with these in great length when they came in. They're not as perfect as you think. Here's the back side. The image is hanging out. And yes, it's the right size. Let me see here. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but the image is hanging out right here on this far side right here. It's hanging out. On this one, um, let's see here, it's completely poking out. I don't know if you guys can see, but this dang thing, let me see. It's completely poking out. You see that? And I watched Tim Holtz do the video, and he was like, you know, you really gotta make sure it's in the middle, and, and, and this one's poking out like almost all the way around and it's the perfect size it's the exact same size he himself was having problems in his demonstration video and he was like you know just keep putting it back in there and you might just have to readjust i put the image a background image and then i, I also cut a piece of acetate so that these have a cover and that's fine it's not too thick but i need to keep messing around with it because as of now not one has worked out perfect these two right here are ruined because it did not press down as evenly as it should. And I did exactly as, you know, they said to do. Um, and you can't reuse these things. You know, once you smush them down in there, that's it. So um, just 
I would recommend waiting for some more reviews. I'm going to keep messing around with it and see if I can figure out a way to get them to work a little better. So, um, again, this guy I got for $11.99. I think these guys came out to like $1.80 each on Joann's with the coupons. And then I got free shipping. So, that's that. Okay. So, to be continued on the Tim Holtz die, uh, die press. All right. Let's go to Lawn Fawn. All right. Everybody's excited about Lawn Fawn. They have their new fall release out now. So this guy right here is the shadow box and I've already broken it up so I can use it because I made this guy. This is the little shadow box and I put the stamps in there and I'll show you. You may have seen this on Instagram, but I put, um, there's some of uh, the, what is it? Is it clearly beside? No, it is, let me see here having a brain fart it is no it is clearly besotted okay uh karen had sent me some clearly besotted stamps and so you see that some mushrooms and pumpkins from those sets and then i mix it with the lawn fawn set so i just made like a little pumpkin patch the tree and the ground is what comes with this stamp set or this die set and the frame i use those backgrounds from just some uh, hill like border scapes that I have in my stash and then another clearly besotted and then that's all um, lawn fun back there so this is the shadow box very cute it's very tiny but um, I just wanted to see what I could do with it so that's that this guy then um, and I think craft golly and a couple other places are having 20% off all of their items so I would take advantage of that because I didn't get 20% off I bought that on reserve for the full price here is the stamp set and a few of you may have seen that I literally just posted this on Instagram for the 30 day coloring challenge and um, I already stamped out these are on the um, what is that called the paper that you I'm losing my mind here inka dinka do stamping like masking paper that's what that is I just haven't cut them out yet but I always do my masks right when I get them but the set is called what costume party that's what it's called and you get a fair amount in there if you see and they're so cute and you have tons of different sentiments in here and i love that they have the magical or some and you know they break up the halloween so if you wanted to do something else that's non-halloween but i don't know other than maybe the unicorn and dinosaur what it would be because these really lend themselves to halloween so anyways these are, I'll just bring these over now. These are the ones I cut and colored. They're really cute. They're very tiny. They're very lawn fawn-ish, but they're cute. And they're gonna make, you know, a bunch of really cute cards. So these guys over here that you see, these are the tags and I'll show you. I wanted these ones and I thought about it and I kept putting them in my cart, taking them out and I finally got them. This is for you, dear and it's for the bookmarks and the page holders and you have the front and back of the deer and bear and then a two and kind of from and then let's hang out you're dear to me and then for the bookmarks here for you dear just for you so basically on this side is the deer stuff on this side is the bear stuff like this is a very good book i can't bear to lose my place and then this is for the holidays don't peek until december 25th and then happy holidays here. So here are the dies that go with it. You get the two heads and the two bodies for this. Then this is for the actual tag portion. So I did a couple. So these are the bookmarks and you can see that you can see your, you know, your backside of your backside. <laughs> if it's this way but once it clips onto a piece of paper it has like a little lever right there so you can do like this oops i should have put it the other way the legs come up so once they put their little legs on the paper there we go it just hangs on to your page like that isn't that cute if you can see in there sorry it's going to try to focus on the back but anyways so those guys hang on the page and then these guys are tags and I just think they're so adorable. So just lift up their little legs. And again, these were on reserve. I think a lot of you already have this set. Um, 
I bought this like in the beginning of August and just got it the other day. So very excited to have it. They're so cute. I love them. Okay. So those are those. And on the back, I've already done the to and from. So you see that. And then on these ones, I just did, you know, for you, dear friend. And then you are dear to me. I kind of broke that up on my own, like with the long stamp. And then um, that's it. So on to what else I got. All right. And there's so much good stuff at Lawn Pond right now. I just, I can't get it all, obviously. I ended up getting some more multimedia mat, and this was from Simon Says Stamp. I don't want to want you guys to think I went to Lawn Fawn. I went to Simon Says Stamp and got Lawn Fawn. And then I got this awesome rose gold um, embossing powder. And now this is what it looks like. It's really cool. I don't know if it's like picking up on camera, but it has like almost like an orangish kind of feel to it. It's really neat, and I like how it leaves that shimmer behind on the black paper. So that's the rose gold embossing powder. Okay, I'm not sure if I showed you guys. If I did, forgive me, but I also finally got this Mama Elephant stamp set. I've been wanting this for years, and um, it came back into stock, and I got it. I did not realize they were so large, but anyways, I have not used it yet, but I cannot wait to use this stamp set. Okay, I think that is it from Simon Says Stamp. Okay, next, um, I'm going to go to some Happy Mail and then come back to a couple stores. Okay, so I got a really nice swap from Jessica. Uh, she's also known as the Wellness Girl. She lives up in Canada. A very, very, very nice girl. We decided to start swapping and this was our first swap and she blew me out of the water. She made a beautiful card. This is Happy Trails, and I love how it's got the little camper here and set in the forest. This really reminds me of home, and she lives in Canada, so, you know, very similar for her. She sent me this beautiful, the 1407 planner bag. Look at this. It's like, um, like a canvas bag, it's, and it's huge, you guys. And she put these really nice travel planners in here. Aren't these nice? And you have like the little flamingo paper clip here. And she says, um, go ahead and give these a try. And I'm going to these little travel notebooks. And what's neat is it has stuff that says in here, box without hinges, key or lid, yet golden treasure inside is hid. Oh my gosh, the Hobbit. Bilbo Baggins says that when he's having the game with the Smeagol guy, Gollum. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I love this. So um, it, it has little sayings on every page and I'm just, I cannot wait to use this. So I wanted to do the video and show you guys these so I can start using them. So this one is very nice as well. It's got skulls and flowers, which is really nice. And just says word and it has um, like a guide to give you like how you should do your travel notebook, which is cool. It has a bullet point. That means important, in progress, and complete. So you kind of have like a, a key as to how to set up your travel notebook. And it has those over here. So you literally just, you know, cross it out or exit out when done. Very neat. So over here, it has the note taking section that teaches you how to do shorthand. Very cool. So next one is the 1407 Printed Traveler's Notebook Inserts. This is so cool. It tells you a little bit about planning. And then um, Habit Tracker, that's really cool. I actually need this right now because there's something I need to start tracking, so that's convenient. So very cool stuff, reading and bills, spending and notes. So this really teaches you how to start doing proper like bullet planning or travel planning. So I like that. Thank you so much, Jess. All right, look at all this stuff, you guys. She sent me another beautiful canvas bag with a B on it. I told you this is gonna be a long video. And look what she put in here. Doodle bug, a reindeer with googly eyes. Is that so cute? thighs okay um polka dot organdy so it's like organza ribbon it's beautiful 
striped grass grain, grass grain, I guess, like a type of uh, ribbon. Very nice, and it's on one of those really hard ribbon holders. That's nice. Beautiful little uh, gingerbread brads. Those are adorable. And they're like, like a enamel. They're very nice. Then a beautiful wreath, and it's a sticker, and more stickers with little cute snowmen. Look how much doodle book she sent me. So, so, so sweet. And this bag, you know, because I do love bees, and that is my nickname, so I love bee stuff. Okay, next bag. Look at these beautiful bags, you guys. Just blown away. Okay, they're weird. They're like tissuey, but they're fabric. They're just the coolest bags you've ever seen. Very, very neat. I'm not gonna dump it out, but she packed this thing with, um, sorry, let me just pull a couple up so you can see here. There you go. The little, um, the weeble wobble thingies, uh, I'm losing my mind right now. You guys know what these are. The, uh, oh my gosh, I have some in my drawer. You know what these are, the things that pop it up. So the little wobblers, um, but these are not the minis. These are the main ones. These are awesome. And she sent me an entire bag packed of these, you guys. I am so, wow, just blown away. So the next one, again, this really cool bag. I don't know what it's made of, but it is neat. And I know that Jess likes teal and pink, so I'm not surprised that she has these in her stash. Those are her favorite colors. Okay, let's see here. I don't wanna mess up this bag. Okay. Sorry guys, bear with me. I don't want that ribbon to come out. Greeting Farm, can you believe it? It says Super, Sta uh, Super, Secret, Super Secret Stamp Club. I've always wanted to join that club and I was wondering like if it was open so she must be a member of that club. So this really cool girl crystal and look how big she really is. Love Green Farm and that's Red Rubber. Oh, just thank you so much. And then this My Favorite Things. Who does not love the Pure Innocence stamp sets? They are just, they can do no wrong. Butterfly Kisses and Dandelion Wishes. A wish for you. May all of your dreams come true and make a wish. I think those are so nice, and I'm going to use the heck out of this for my Girls Love Mail, uh, charity mail. So that's awesome, thank you. We're not done. You guys, she spoiled me. Uh, a bunch of Studio Calico Color Theory buttons, and they come in different uh, like styles. You see some are floral, some are flat, some are concave. I mean, they're just beautiful, and they're in a very fall type of color scheme with the orange and yellow and the golden. Love using buttons in my art. So happy about that. The next one she sent here is a ton of Greeting Farm and other die cuts. I don't want to open them up because I don't want them to fall, but I love it when you guys send me stuff like this. I use them. I use them in my art. I mean, there is no difference if I stamped them and cut them right here on my desk or if you did it on your desk and sent it to me it's art just the same and I'm so happy to have this because I don't have these stamp sets so very excited about that so this is packed with die cuts she sent me a zig clean color in the color light violet I thought that was so nice these are expensive very very nice now this is amazing she took this cute bag and she made this unbelievable like little like bread tie with pom-poms on the end and this thing is packed with nothing but washi tapes on these really fancy like washi tape thread bobbin things do you see that look at all that washi tape oh my god amazing it just wow she really knows how to do a happy mail. That is, I'm embarrassed. Jessica, I'm like resending you a happy mail shortly. Um, this is a beautiful bag. I don't know if she did that or if it, this paper came this way, but this is gorgeous. I hate, I hate to touch it because I don't want the glitter to come off, but let's get in there and pull out the goodies. This very cool planner girl 
it's like a little note sheet. Um, change comes from courage, not comfort. So, leap, dear girl, these are just a bunch of really cool planner things. This is a whole entire notepad. Look how cool that is. This girl's got her scarf, her hat, her latte. She's ready to rock it. I love it. I just love her attitude. Okay. This adorable girl sitting on suitcases. So you guys see, she sent a ton of, th these are really cool. Check this out. You can make them into shakers. And this one has like a little slit in there, like a pocket. I think this is so cool. So you could do like a little, like that. Very cool. All right, I'm moving on, sorry. And more doodle bug stickers with mason jars. I think these are adorable. And a stamp set. Is this so cool? Thank you, love summer, happy birthday. A little, but this bunny's adorable. I love that. And then ice cream. I am definitely going to double layer that and put this guy together. I think it's adorable. Okay, that is from Jess. Also, you guys know her as the wellness girl. Super, super sweet. Definitely go check out her Instagram. I'm not sure if she has a YouTube. If she does, I did not know, and I will be on that thing in two shakes of a lamb's tail if she does have one. But um, definitely go check her out on Instagram. She's very, very talented. So, the wellness girl. And I'll put it down in the description. Okay, now moving on to another one. I told you guys this is going to be long. All right, let me grab, since we're here. Okay, I got more tin, the tin pins came in from Ellen Hudson, and I think I told you guys about this. Um, it's when I ordered this stamp set, all the Darcy's, if you guys remember. Um, so the tin pins finally came in, and I got three of them because I got three of this stamp set because I'm giving them away, and so I got three tin pins to go with those stamp sets. So that's what they look like. Now, the reason I colored this card like that is because the tin pins are already pre-colored. So if you guys don't remember, let me show you here. They basically, I don't know if they, oh, they don't show you. Okay, they don't show you on the packaging. The packaging is black and white. But if you go to her website or go to Ellen Hudson and pull up Darcy's, they show you how they colored the unicorn and pumpkin and if you don't color it the exact same way, unfortunately, the tin pins won't match. So this is what I mean. So I colored the unicorn and the pumpkin as such so that it would match the tin pin. So these are really, really fun. I mean, it comes with a ton of cool sentiments. And um, anyway, so the tin pins I got finally from Ellen Hudson. And those of you who will be receiving those, I hope you like them. I think tin pins are a blast. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, some happy mail I got from another friend. Okay, I got this one right here from my dear friend Lisa Matthews. Uh, she lives over in the UK and we decided to swap. She made this beautiful card, the Santoro Girl. How can you not love those? The card is for me, but look at that. She put these really cool, those are like those rubbery like bracelet makers, but she attached charms. And when you pull this out, it's actually a tag. Isn't that creative? I love how she did that. Isn't that neat? I just love this. I've never received anything like that. So the card, and she did a really nice seal there. And you can see, made with love, July 2017, Lisa. I think, I love all your guys' seals. I like to just kind of, I don't know, I hang all the cards, but I think the variety is so neat. There is no time more fitting to say thank you. I think this card is beautiful. Okay, let me show you this. She sent me a whole entire pack of these gems and they are self-adhesive. Beautiful, beautiful gems. They're just doubled up so that she could fold it and fit it in the envelope there. Very nice. She, oh, also made me a second card. Look at this adorable bear. Friendship is like a big hug and the buttons. And you see this guy is really super dimensional. See that? Beautiful. And then again, she made me a really nice card and she put some cool stickers inside, which I love. And she also sent me planner stickers. 
So very nice. She's a planner girl as well. She's also a member of the Stamps of Life Club. Um, that's who was giving me advice on the club when I joined because she had already been signed up. So I was very excited to meet her. Um, and then she made this awesome insert for my planner. I just have to punch it with my ring system and put this in my planner. But it's like um, Audrey Hepburn there. And she has a pearl necklace on. I think that is beautiful. So that and then a little note. So I was blown away that she sent me all of this. Okay, on to the next one. Sorry guys, I know it's long. Okay, Amazon. All right. I scored on Amazon. So I got these flower dies. They are the exact same kind of dies that you guys know from another company. They're literally the exact same. I got these for $2.38 and they cut beautiful. I've already been messing with them and using them and not a complaint in the world. So, oh, you know what? That reminds me. I have more stuff to show you guys. Thank God I just showed you that or else I would have forgotten. Okay, sorry. Let me open this up. I'm not sure if I showed you guys that I got these flower dies. Um, Joann's was doing like a little sale thing and um, anyway so I got I may have showed you these but I got these as well for $5.99 now had I gotten these first I wouldn't have gotten these I ended up paying $5.99 for these and two two and change for these I think it was $2.38 um, so you know it's what it is they're a little bit different and this one also has has the middle piece like the stamen but these are nice and they blend well with this uh, cut right here. Okay, next. I ended up getting more of these guys. I think these ones actually came in through eBay though. Those are the little chunky squirrels. And I don't know why, but they put the chunky squirrels in with the Starbucks cups. That's what I had ordered with Starbucks cups, but they shoved in some chunky squirrels there. Okay, that's fine. So anyways, this is kind of the mix that you get right there. You can see all the frappuccinos and then the coffee there and then their logo. And I think these were 88 cents, free shipping. Um, it depends who you go to. Some are a little more pricey, but um, they'll tell you if you buy two or more, you get 5% or something like that discount. So I bought a few of them. All right, I got this stamp set for $3. You guys might be very familiar with this stamp set. All the kitties, then you have the fish, and then all the doggies. I stamped a few out just to kind of play around with it. Stamps perfect. Stamps like any other stamp set. $3. Then I got these. Now, the mermaids I already have, as you guys know. I got them from MFT when I went to the expo last year. But I ended up getting three more. Check this out. The exact same stamp set. How much did I pay? Not $17.99. I paid $3 for these, you guys. I got three sets, and I got them for $3 a piece. But I already have this stamp set, so you guys know where I'm going with that. Then I got, um, oh, sorry, I got more of the kitty and doggy ones. I got three of those. So the ones I just showed you. Then I got one of these, just because I wanted to see what it looked like in person. It's the little girl that's caroling with the penguins. And then the little girl singing, and then the penguins with the presents. I got one of those and then they gave me this as a gift so I'm going to be giving it away it's just the alphabet and numbers and block letters so very nice okay if you guys um keep your eye out on Amazon you'll see these good deals and I have more coming in so when those arrive I'll do another video okay that's it for Amazon now I'm going to show you another happy mail that I got okay this blew me away you guys told you it's long in fact I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee forgive me okay Pat Scruggs she is on Instagram I'm not sure if she's on YouTube but she's a friend of mine 
and I made a comment on YouTube one time, hey, if you guys want to exchange or do happy mail, let me know. I'm happy to. And she was like, yeah, let's do it. So we did it. So she sent me this beautiful happy mail. Now, the only person who has taught me how to do stuff like this is Karen. Uh, Karen owns Clippy Chick Creations, not Karen Shanahan. And she taught me a lot of, you know, like pocket letters, flip books, and tons of different things. Well, Pat sent me this and just elevated my game. And when I responded to her, like, how did you do that? Where did you get a template? Like, the, she was like, oh, mm, I had some file folders, so I just went with it. You just went with it, and this is what, I mean, it's really cool, you guys. Like, let me show you. If she just went with it, she's got a lot of talent. So. Um, hold fast to your dreams and she has decorated every single portion of this thing so it opens up and now this is the first flap I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see because it's so cool um, she put this really cool flamingo umbrella here <laughs> that's so cool and it says live colorfully now you take this flap down now you have this really cool hot pink plastic bow and it's like on all these like uh, popsicles. Happy birthday to you. This is so cool. Now this flips back and she did all these really cool things. This is a tag for me and look at the flamingos and she did happiness and then happy because we're on the happiness page and then mail tag on here. I think this is so cool. Then. A whole entire pocket from like where we just were isn't that cool she put a pocket here made this beautiful page and it here you go you open it up it's an envelope it's empty but it's it's for me as an envelope and then she stuffed it with a ton of these really cool tags that you can decorate up or do whatever you want with <clears throat> and then these uh, these journaling cards a ton of journaling cards then she packed it with these little cute bags. They're like classing bags. Then she put some like acetate uh, die cuts in here and a planner sticker sheet. Is that not cool? And then she lined it. So if she just came up with this, I'm very, very impressed. I asked her for the template, but she said she doesn't have one. She just kind of went with it. She took some file folders and did this, but to feel free to duplicate it. So on this side, she put a really cool toe clip, like a foot clip, very cool. A tin pin that says sunny days. She colored this beautiful Santoro girl and they're like on the Rolodex uh, tabs there. Okay, look at that. It's like a puffy sticker. This is so cool. Look at this tag or this charm she made you guys. She put a clip here and it says friends with a cup of lemonade and she made the coolest tassel. See, I want to get those guys, the tassel toppers and really learn how to make those. I think that is so cool. So let me put this back because I do want to study how she did this. Okay. So when we flip it over, she decorated this side as well and she put in yet another pocket. It's like another file inside the file. She decorated it and then made another pocket. And she packed this thing with all of these cute, just the wood chips, the stickers, um, the, the bow. I just, you guys, she did a fantastic job. Go check her page out. Her name is Pat Scruggs. Um, let me see here, another flap. These adorable paper straws and these beautiful colors. And yet another envelope just packed with goodies. Happy birthday to you and she made me a card. Some really cool die cut sentiments. Look at these stamps. I could not wait to show you guys these. Do you see these stamps? I get that they're not legitimate stamps, they're art stamps, but I adore those. Wherever she got those, I wanna get some. I like stuff like that. Then these adorable little yellow teeny beanie, uh, teeny weeny bikinis. Those are beautiful, um, are really nice like mason jar that she wrapped a ton of different washi tapes on. And then more journaling cards and a whole entire pack of notepads and then a nice little card for me for my birthday. I am blown away. If you guys already know about this style, um, 
of Happy Mail, I let me know. I mean, if you guys have a template for it, if not, I'm literally just going to duplicate what she's done here. But yeah, I'm just, there's so many of you out there that are so very talented. So please keep sharing with me because I'm impressed. Okay, so that was my Happy Mail from Pat Scruggs. Okay, I'm trying to see if I have any more store stuff to show you because if not, we're going to get on to another Happy Mail. Okay, another Happy Mail it is. Okay, so I got this from Nev. Nev, her real name is Kimberly, but she goes by Nev, so you guys probably know her by that. And I've already taken a couple things out. She sent me corn nuts, you guys. So <laughs> I already ate the corn nuts, of course. She sent me some awesome uh, white hot cocoa. Love that. She sent me the corn nuts and a pack of sanitizers. Isn't that funny? She listened that. I don't leave the house without my corn nuts and my sanitizer. Thank you so much, Nev. And then this awesome stamp set for my planner. It has like a, a list, so I could just literally stamp that right inside my planner. And then remember, and then a, an important star thing. I just, I love these types of things that have the border. Okay. All right, we're gonna pause right here and I'm gonna announce the first five winners. Okay. Let's see, the first winner is Karen Shanahan. The second winner is Judy Evans Parker. The third winner is Betsy Burge. Oh, another Betsy. The fourth winner is Michelle Ricard. And the fifth winner is number 24. Nev! Oh my god, I had no idea. <laughs> the girls package I'm opening right now. So those are the first five numbers. I'm gonna repeat that. I will repeat them all again, but you have one week to contact me on Instagram, direct message, give me your email, and I'll email you over the Simon Says Stamp uh, e-card for $15. Okay, again, that is Karen Shanahan, Judy Evans Parker, um, sorry, bear with me, Betsy Burge, number 18, Michelle Ricard, and then Nev. So you guys have, um, how about that? That was not planned. I literally just said I was gonna stop halfway through the video and read half of them off. Okay, so let's get going. So she also sent me these awesome push pins. It's a 12 count um, and it's really cool. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're literally push pins and they say project to do urgent and note. Very neat. I'm gonna show you guys this at the end on purpose. New Hampshire, because that's where she's from. I thought that was really clever. Like how Karen Shanahan, she'll send me stuff um, from Ireland. So I get to see a little bit of like what her culture is like. I, I like that idea to send people things from like where you are. I like that. This really cool planner. Check this out. Isn't this cute? I just like this would fit in your purse so well. And it's so bright and colorful. And a really nice like um, notepad. If you color this. Isn't this neat? So it's a notepad that, so say you're like writing down groceries or taking notes from the phone and you doodle, you could just color on that. I like that because you know we all doodle when we're on the phone. Okay, so there's that. And she decorated it. She put like stickers, very nice, that I'm going to keep. It says lovely and there's another one that says nature on this side. Isn't that very nice? Oh, and there's another one. She did a really nice job. So very cool. Okay, then this is why we started exchanging in the first place is because we're both new to pocket letters. So we're like, let's exchange and I'm not very good at it yet. And she's like, I'm not very good at it yet. So we're like, well, we'll laugh at, you know, we'll have a good laugh. So we exchanged, but she like did a fantastic job, you guys. I feel like she lied to me. She did a wonderful job. So I love that. That is. Look at that, she did my name. Is that not so cool? That's one of those dilution stamps. And she put Betsy. I think that is so neat. Okay, so she made a theme here. And this is very elegant. It's got the dress form. I love dress forms. I just, I just love the, the palette. Then on this side, she did a ton of cool stuff. It's very floral, very, um, uh, filigree-ish. I like how she, she put some things in here. 
Um, she just, she continued with her pattern and I love that. So I'm not gonna open up every little thing for you, but this is what she made and I think she did a fantastic job. So her pocket letter is way better than mine because it actually folds up properly and you can mail it. Mine is like, like I literally have to take a wench and tie this thing together. My pocket letters never fold right. So that is the happy mail I got from Nev. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another um, gift that I got. Uh, and it's cool. You guys will see why I'm showing you here. Okay, and I believe this is gonna be the last thing. I'm looking around, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, there is one more other thing, okay. This box is huge, you guys. Let me see if I can take the camera out. Okay, so I just got this yesterday. One of my very good friends, and she's also my boss, came by my house because like I said, I've been under the weather for a few days, and she just wanted to bring me some color and sunshine. Is that so sweet? So this ginormous box, but I couldn't wait to show you guys this. Okay. Okay, that's for work. Okay, I'll put that to the side. Um, she got me a 50 pack of these colored pencils. Really cool. Why are they so cool? Well, first of all, it's Crayola. Second of all, there's 50 of them. They're pretty sharpened, but they've got the metallics in there, you guys. I've never had the metallics. So I messed around with it last night um, when I was laying in bed. They're beautiful. I, I don't know if you guys have the metallics. I'm sure you do, but it's such a different, um, turnout than regular colored pencils. I just think the metallics are beautiful. So got that, love it. Then she got me this really cool thing. I had seen this online and I thought this would be a nice gift for somebody and now it's for me. So it says Viva La Color and it's Peace Coloring Book and Pencils and it's something about de-stressing. Here you go. Color in 90, tear, 90 plus tear out pages and de-stress. I opened it up, it has some really cool patterns. I'll show you. It comes with four neon colors, and then you have your six basics, I guess. And then this one, again, is metallic. It has the silver and the gold and a sharpener. And I'll show you here. The book is really nice. It's like really hardy, and it has like a really hard cover. So this is the pad, if you guys haven't seen it. So it has just a bunch of different designs on both sides. You see that? So there's no pressure. It's not like I have to make, you know, um, like a perfect dragon or make, you know, uh, well, there's a bird. <laughs> it's not a dragon. It's like, there's no pressure. Like this is just, you know, color or don't color is kind of the idea. I like that. So very neat. And um, I also like that the box it comes in is kind of like a kit that you can keep everything contained. And then she got me this really nice book. Look at this. This is very similar to the one my husband had gotten me a long time ago. Animals Night and Day. Look at that elephant, you guys. This reminds me of Chatel. I don't know why every, I think because she sent me some elephant stationery. That's why every elephant reminds me of Chatel. But I think she would like that too. It's just beautiful, the book itself. So flip through here real quick. It tells you what they are. And now we'll just kind of flip through. So again, it's called day and night. So you have your night animals that with the background, and then you have your day animals that have the white background. So I think this is very cool. And um, her name is Leilani, and she is a huge pet advocate. She is, um, you know, just, anything for animals. She's a true animal lover and we kind of have that in common. So I would expect nothing but something animal-ish from her. So that was a gift from her to start feeling better. So thank you, Leilani. Um, all right, my last thing I'm gonna show you, and if, I forget, and if I've forgotten anything, please forgive me. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my last little happy meal and then I'm gonna announce the other five winners. Okay. So I got this beautiful, um, you know what, is it two more things? I might have two more things to show you. Yep, I have two more things. I got this beautiful Happy Mail from Amanda Duarte. You guys know her as Mandalene 80 And I commented when she posted this on Instagram how much I loved it as, um, you know, this is something I grew up with as I'm Russian. So I loved this card. 
and she sent it to me. I was so excited. And then she made me this beautiful tag. You are beautiful. I love that. And she did a fantastic job on this tag. Look at this. And she's got the little cup of coffee. Well done. Okay. She said, you mentioned in one of your videos that you wanted a fat zebra. It's not a fat zebra, but it's a zebra. You guys, look how cute. Look, 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 look. Isn't he so cute? I love this. And he's kind of chunky in my eyes, so he's perfect. I didn't know they were out there. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, she sent me these really cool, she found these, I guess, at an outlet. But they're little miniature tags, like metal, and they say Florida on them. Isn't that neat? They say Florida. I love it. Okay. So she made me a really cool card, as I showed you. And then what she did was she told me about how there's these sheets that are the whole entire thing is a sticker so I could make my planner stickers isn't that so nice so she sent me a ton of them so now I can really make you know proper planner stickers because I've been using up a ton of the Avery labels that I had um, so thank you so much Amanda that was so kind I mean she just out of the goodness of her heart just sent all this so very very nice and it came at the time that I needed it most okay my last thing I just got, literally, as I was about to come up here and film, was I got this really nice Happy Mail from Von Marie. How nice is that? Okay, so I got this card, Hedgehog and Kisses. She did a fantastic job on this card. And you see the mushroom right there? She sent me a ton of the die cuts. So now I can make my own mushroom. That was really nice. And she made a little card in there for me. And then of course, her little signature, Handmade with Love by Von Marie. And um, this beautiful tag with a paper clip. So I'm gonna put that in my planner. It's a little cactus, it's so cute. And she sent me a whole entire pack of pretty pink posh flowers. That is, you guys, this, your kindness, I just, thank you. And I know I, um, I have a lot of happy mail coming to a few of you. Please give me um, a little bit of buffer. I am just kind of catching back up with being home. So um, it is going to get out to you though. So just starting to feel a little bit better. All right, the next five winners. Okay, and by the way, for having 500 subscribers, only 50 people entered. I was really kind of like bummed about that. So your chances of winning were really good because only 50 people entered. So here we go. Okay, the... Next five winners, let's see, we left off with number, I think it was 24. Yep, okay, so the next one is number 50. That is Allison Hakila. I hope I'm saying that right, Allison, I know who you are. I just hope I'm saying your right, your last name right, Hakila. Um, the next one is number seven, is Von Marie. Number seven, Von Marie, you're a winner. Number 27, Tamara, Tamara Haverkamp, you've won. Tamara Havercamp, you want a gift, okay? And number 35, bear with me guys, I'm just pulling the, the winner sheet up here. Scrappin' Jenny 7, that is your screen name. I, I'm assuming your name is Jenny. Jenny. Um, Scrappin' Jenny 7. And then next one, 39, and the last one is uh, number 39, Lisa Matthews. Lisa Matthews, you won. Okay, guys, I'm going to read them all again one last time. You have one week to hit me up on Instagram. I am sorry that this is posted on September 2nd instead of September 1st. Um, bear with me. Okay, so we're going to read them all again. Karen Shanahan, Judy Evans Parker, Betsy Burge, um, Michelle Ricard, Nev, 50, is Allison Hakila, number seven. Vaughn Marie, 27. Tamara Haverkamp, 35. Scrappin' Jenny, seven. And Lisa Matthews. Okay, guys, thank you everybody to, that entered. Adela, Rosemary, Stacy, Karen, Rudder, Megan, um, Mikey, Nicolette, uh, Karen, Teresa, Figretta, Heather, Trudy, Julie, Cool Cakes and Crafts, 
um, Heather, Gretchen, Michelle, Craft Come Lately, Pamela Parks, Shannon Livesey, uh, Christopher Adams, Lynn, Helen, Lemire, Carly Adventures, Vicki Lee, Jenny Ellis, Crafty Paws, Brianna, Apple Pecan Sews, Jess, uh, Weight Watcher Chick, Deborah Chambers, Kelly, Creative Trish, Laura, Sue Polini, uh, Amanda Duarte, and Hey Jude, Nick's Crafty Corner, and Barb Ross. Thank you guys all for entering. I hope that um, you feel that 10 is a generous number. I I thought we definitely have more entries, but congratulations to the 10 people who won. Again, one week, hit me up on Instagram. You guys know the deal. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not already because you must be for this 600 giveaway, which is going to go up as soon as this goes up. So, all right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.